world! Welcome back to Earthbound! In the last episode, we got here to the Runaway 5 Chaos Theater. And we're gonna go see the Runaway 5. Oof. Oh, oh let's talk to everyone. Hey, you kids, and you get tickets. What are you? You own his kids or something? <laughs> oh! I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kinda disappointed. There are no good looking waitresses! And there's no room for me to show off my latest dance moves! <laughs> you know, I think it's pretty it's pretty tacky to entertain a company's business problem by taking to a runaway five show. But since I'm new to the company, I better just I better just toe the line. My boyfriend lost the ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butter fingers, but he's nice. Well, I got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. I'll give you one thing. You got guts, kid. I'm creepy as fuck. You want to smoke a blunt? <laughs> they seem too proud, I mean. We just filled up this little music hall after all. Don't get too close to me! I just fart! Yeah, sorry! Yeah. I'm sorry. The world we fight is gonna be a world's greatest man someday. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I sweat or spit. I get sweat or spit on me from the one I five. Seeing a runaway five on stage is my life. You kids are bouncing around talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. <laughs> you like baseball? Yes, Ness loves baseball. I knew it. You can't give it away. Ness loves it. Shh. Oh, Mr. T! Lucky of the Runaway 5! Lucky of the Runaway 5 told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security- Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it! Can you take me with you? Please, please! I can pose as your sister! Yes! This rocks! Let's go! My heart is pounding. Yay! I need to talk to Mr. T! I want to go talk to Mr. T. Hey, you got the chaos near the soul, man. If that's not a Blues Brothers reference, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Rocking and rolling live on this year's stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest blues men, Jolly and Jake, and Elwood Blues, the Blues Brothers. <laughs> and here they come. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Nineteen eighty three. <laughs> this is right at cell block number nine. At least the beginning was. I get a talk <laughs> I like the fact that the American version changed their outfits to be bar red, red and green, kind of simulating Mario and Luigi. A young man like you really get to into the front of five music? Wow, I'm impressed! Help me all me me, I'm told la la me me I'm told that my daughter probably la 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 me God damn it, I'm sorry. <laughs> la 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 
I just love ragtime. This is blues! I mean, quick, don't be shy. So what do you think? Don't want to see one more show? Sure. It's your chance for a once-in-a-lifetime event. Mr. Poochie Fund, the manager... Oh, Mr. Poochie Fund, the manager is looking for you. I wonder what he wants. Cash? That's what I want. Cash? That's what it's hot. Cash? That's what I want. I just made up a new song. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? That was a great gig. We can't be this good all the time, can we? Did I, did I accidentally, uh, am I gonna go out and I'm gonna do a new show? Frick! <laughs> Shit! Yeah, that's right! Tonight, you need to get into that blah 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 Oh yeah, baby! Runaway 5! Woo, baby! Nineteen eighty three. There's a ride going on. God, now I have that song stuck in my head. I love the Blues Brothers, they're great. Oh, you gonna see it twice? Oh boy! I'm sorry I'm making you sit for this again. Alright, so Mr. Poochie Fudd wants to see me. Oof. Got my hand. It's fucking hot in here. Oh, It's finally starting to get warm. You know, it's been like cold up here in New England for like the past few days. Yeah. Like, like yesterday and today were the first like really warm days. Alright, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. We have a mission to start. Oh, pardon me. He's a cat. You want to see Poochie Fun, the manager? I do this door, please. Alright. Oh, me a lot of money. Ooh, they might you. Oh, we already saw that. Okay, guys. And money. Excuse me. Take a real close look. Oh, I got. I gotta get behind the desk. That's what it's. No, stop it. You surprised me! Now I'm not sure what to do! I've got the money, of course, and now the Runway 5 is free to leave! I got all complaints. Now that I have my money... <laughs> well, what do you know? This little dipper took us from nightmare to a dream! This means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver! Come on, I'll show you! <laughs> Alright, let's move to the next town. Sure, our old hunk of junk will get us there. I need to make a spectacle of myself, did I? Our tow bus is too loud for any ghosts to bother us. You want a ride? Yeah! Oh yeah, let's go! Get on the bus! Oh, I gotta get up from this side. Just get absorbed. Okay guys, here we go! Hey, sidewalk! Get out of my way! <laughs> I love the Runaway 5. It's all some of the best music in the game. <laughs> yeah, so back to what I was saying, like, in New England, 
like, it was weird, because the first few weeks, it was so cold at night, like, it, it was getting cold at night. Like, I had to turn my fan off and close the windows. Also, during that time, I had no gas, because it got turned off. Those ghost, that ghost wants it. They want it. <laughs> they want that van. They're so jealous. <laughs> oh, now we're three. Spoopyville. Oh, look at Grandma. We got Jason Voorhees. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. But I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us singing at some theater in Foresight. Oh boy. We're in Freed. Now we need to go do stuff. Okay, it, it, there's actually like a super simple solution. And then, I'm probably gonna end it off. First. The hotel. Welcome to the free Sunset Hotel! A night nice stay will cost you $120! <laughs> oh, something that I need... I, I forget exactly how I started, but... Don't enter! I'm in the graveyard! Oh, right. I just remembered I can't do anything that's over there yet. Because I need to meet our new friend. Because our new friend is actually incredibly important when it comes to that kind of stuff. Zombies? What is it, zombies? My play Call of Duty? What friend? Dead Rising? The zombies are slowly advancing towards the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move! How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, I just don't know. Why don't we get all the zombies in the tent and then set it on fire? We may all get much before we have a chance to do anything. I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. I never said I was helping you. What do you think I am? Some kind of charity? I'm killing your zombies! I spent all my time running from them! I can't even get home! There's a rumor that there's an underground path that you just it takes you somewhere. When you get through that path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster! Oof. Oof! He's wetting! He wets his pants! How are we gonna get it back from the Zambos? The headquarters of the Zombie Relief Corps. Zombies. I think I need to spend a night at the hotel. Because there, there, there's some event that needs to trigger. Yeah. I mean, I could find the hint guy, but I really don't want to. One twenty. Okay. Yeah. Have a nice day. Ba 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 da da da. Sir, are you going out? The guest newspapers have been delivered to the hotel today are different than normal. The paper's called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared! Destroy the humans! Hold the town for our glory and for the glory of our master! <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Speaking of tall ma'am, so I heard that you got a new girlfriend. No! Gosh, not my girlfriend! Gosh! I don't know. I feel like she's right next to you or something. God damn it! God damn it, ma'am! Always embarrassing me! <laughs> Alright. There's, there's some event that needs to fucking trigger, and I have no idea where it is. Just needs to find a lady in a bikini, and then the event triggers, and then stuff happens. I saw a beat up torch first door in the foreside! The band was really noisy! Happy go lucky. Ah! Our first enemy. Smiling Sam! Burn it! <laughs> Bap. I just bapped him. <laughs> Spot that Sam's. Oh, let's go to the drugstore. Oh, that's a hospital. Yes. Pizza. Drugs. How may I help you? Can I get you anything? Thick! Extra thick! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Speaking of which, Sam. I recently watched the ending of Samurai Jack. That was a good ending. I liked it. Um, despite all the people who bitched and moaned that. The point of the ending was that it was better sweet! There was no guardian, so everyone was all sad. I don't know. I, I actually really like the ending. I thought it was a pretty good ending. Because Jack finally gets to go home. He finally defeats Aku. And then just stuff. Well, and you knew. Like, yeah, he beats Aku. God damn it. I'll probably bleep out. I'll probably bleep out the part where I spoil. <laughs> Yep. Yes. Alright, I need to get the extra thick frying pan. One fifty. One fifty! Paula. Yeah. No! All right, where where is this person? I'm supposed to get led into a trap. Looks like there's fucking slime on that tree. What do you mean there's no problem there? Can you smile like that? The dangerous place I live. It's me, Grandma. Crazy old Grandma. There's no such things as a Zambo. Come on, where is this bitch? <laughs> You need to lure me into a trap! Oh, let's, let's dig around in the garbage. Oh, a teddy bear! Yeah! <laughs> hey, all Hitman. Hello, Hitman. Sixty bucks! Well, at least I know where the hit guy is. Oh, do I need to go do the thing? Because there's something that I might need to do actually before. Oh, no, not a 
Pumpko! Pumpkaboo. Trick or treat, kid! And handsome Tom! Kill the trick or treat, kid. Burn the fuck out of handsome Tom. Uh, or not. Leave the taker alone! <laughs> that teddy bear's my friend! Right, please, please be in the right area. I think I know where I need to go. Bobber fly! <laughs> okay. No, please, no! No! Beat the shit out of this guy. Well, I'm just wailing on him. Be my minor lead bat. It's because Ness is a beast. Like, attack wise, he's the strongest, but PSI wise, Paul is the strongest that you get. I. Don't think Pooh is stronger? And because I'm not spoiling anything because we all saw them at the beginning of the game! Where's this giant monster tent? There's a giant monster tent that I need to find. Oh! Is that courage? You gotta get back to the middle of nowhere, buddy. Okay, this is where the tent would spawn. Yeah, okay, no, this is where the tent would spawn. So, yeah, no, that is after I get next. That is after I get... Jeff, God frick. <laughs> I may need to get the 60 bucks and pay the fucking hen guy. Yeah, it works for the zombies. I mean, I've trained them too. <laughs> Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gygus, who I heard might be female. Well, I'm not really sure whether Gygus is male or female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, see, nah, I'm a helpful con man, nah. No one is here now. <laughs> Welcome to the circus. Insecticide spray. Ooh. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. Don't stare into my. Oh, wait! Wait! That's what I needed to do. I needed to go find the zombies, and then the event triggers. I want to avoid those ghosts. Those ghosts suck, they make you nauseous. I'm obnoxious. Yup, okay, there's Booby Lady. Let's go. Let's go get captured. But I got a teddy bear. Speaking of teddy bear, I'm just gonna give that to Paula. Paula should always hold teddy bears. Let's go get mugged! Thirteen-year-old boy gets tricked by lady in bikini. Perfect. You're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? They've been eaten! Ugh. 
If I was Paula, I'd be pissed. <laughs> the door is locked. Oh, good! I figured it out. It just took me forever. <laughs> I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling out to our friend who we've never met. Jeff, Jeff, we need your help. I am Paula and I'm with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. Winters, a small country to the north. Snowwood Boarding House. Jeff's existence is actually really depressing. I am Paula, and I'm with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend we've never met, but you are one and only hope. And then Paula wails on- And then you just hear Paula wailing on Ness with the frying pan in the background. <laughs> I would. Fucking idiot. Jeff, where are you going in the middle of- I'm <laughs> sorry. Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the darn rules, right? You get caught, you'll get punished big time. What's wrong, Jeff? All right. There must be some kind of reason I don't understand. I won't stop you. It's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. Hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I'll help get you out of here. Woo! Dong! Dong and I can't, I can't grab, I can't grab anything. I thought I could grab stuff from my little junk pile. Well, now that we are here, and we are Jeff. <laughs> Jeff on his own little adventure. In the next episode, we will see what Jeff and Tony get themselves into. So, this has been Mr. CJ Bubba. I would just like to say you guys, I'm done. And stay awesome, my friends.